Hey guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. It has definitely been a while and it really has been a while since I have done a video on sonography, ultrasound. Um, I don't remember what my last video was about ultrasound. I think it was when I passed my abdomen registry and I made a video about that. But I come bearing good news. I just recently passed my vascular registry, so now I am RVT. And I wanted to share with you guys my testing experience and what materials I used to study, kind of like what I did for the SPI and the abdomen exam. Um, I hope this video helps you guys a lot. Um, and I just want to be honest and get into it with you guys. So I took my abdomen registry back in December after I graduated because I did graduate December 2022 from ultrasound school. I began working <clears throat> the beginning of this year and it was pretty tough to train and to study at the same time. It was kind of hard <laughs> and plus I still had like my part-time job for a while but then now I work full-time as a sonographer so quit that part-time job and I've been working full-time so I didn't take my vascular exam until six months out of school um right before my birthday so early june um i know a lot of people like to get them out the way i i'm just the type of person i like to take my time i like to make sure that i understand everything and for me it takes a little bit more time and i can't study for like abdomen vascular ob at one time i have to be focused on one thing at a time and that's how I'm gonna pass. So that's what I did and it ended up working out. I actually was supposed to take it at the end of May and I got really scared and nervous and I pushed it back to the beginning of June. Um, and I don't really regret that at all. If you're feeling not ready, I like to always put a date on a test because it helps me like study. Because if I pay for the test and yeah, I'm approved, but I don't have an actual date, I'm like, oh, I can like, la di da until like that last day and so um i changed the date <laughs> i did end up passing it the first time so um let's just talk about a little bit what i of what i did so i did look at the vascular content outline from ardms.org or dot com i don't know um i'll have it linked down below for vascular and they have them for every registry that you take and it's the same thing for every registry so they'll go by like anatomy pathology miscellaneous etc and sometimes in the content outline they'll name specific things like maybe they'll maybe they labeled you know example nutcracker syndrome or you know may turner syndrome whatever know those things obviously we have to have a general idea of everything of the anatomy the pathology the testing the indirect and non-direct testing but know what they specifically you know state in the outline like like i said uh may turn or, or whatever um because they'll probably ask you at least one question on about that um so on my test i had a lot of pathology um they didn't ask me too too much about testing I definitely had nutcracker i had i think i had may turner <laughs> um let me see i wrote a whole note about it so let me see if i could pull that up but i'm trying to like talk about it from memory yeah stuff like that um normal anatomy whatever what i used to study i used ultrasound registry review um and i did the whole course I did the whole course and all the questions um, because I felt like I was out of school and I didn't really, I didn't have access to like the PowerPoints anymore from school and I just thought that a more structured, for me, I needed a more structured studying, I needed more structured studying material. Um, so that's what I did and I think it worked out, I mean I passed. Um, but if you feel like, you know, you have your study material down, you just need questions, you can just purchase the questions, which are a really great help. I always say, I think ultrasound registry review questions are more difficult than the actual exam. I mean, I only did it for abdomen and vascular. For abdomen, I definitely think it was more difficult than the actual exam. For vascular, I think that they were pretty equivalent. Um, some of the questions on ultrasound registry review can be lengthy, but I think they do that to also kind of like give you an idea to really like put together if they were to ask you signs and symptoms of a specific disease, you would know 
based off of like those questions um but the questions weren't long-winded like that but definitely ultrasound registry review if i hadn't done the questions i would have been lost because it helps you with like the process of elimination and i just think for vascular it was on point um some of them were honestly at the difficulty level of ultrasound registry review um and i definitely think that vascular was a bit more difficult than abdomen that was just for me everybody has their own opinion um but i do think that the level of difficulty was met with ultrasound registry review and the actual exam so a lot of process of elimination but it's pretty easy to eliminate you know what could be right and what could be wrong but they will give you like some questions that'll say okay a 40 year old male is having pain here for this amount of time and they just had this done and you know this that what could this be or what could have this been like a result of they did ask me about like may turner what vessels could be involved they asked me about paget scroter um i had a lot of like pseudo aneurysm like i got a picture of it it asked me what it was and then like where would i doppler to get like to and fro flow and like it showed me to and fro flow and it said where would you doppler in the pseudo aneurysm to get that flow i also had basic anatomy questions like okay what are the vessels in order from lateral to medial on the arm on the floor on the arm um i got abi questions calculate the abi but it's not like outlandish numbers so you could kind of like figure it out um i didn't have a calculator but you i think we could do it a lot of physics um which is going to be a very big part of vascular in general so how you would fix your waveform um how you would eliminate like aliasing things like that i did get a question about like type 2 endo leak a lot of pathology like i said um but overall the test it was hard i think it was but for me i had to zoom through it because if i overthought anything i would have changed answers and that's just my testing strategy. What I like to do is I'll go through the entire test. I answer the ones that I know 100%. I don't look back. I answer the ones that I'm like 50, 50 on, and then I flag them. And then the ones that I like don't know, and I'm like, I really need to think on this, I leave them blank and I flag it. And then I go back and I review all my flagged. And then I submit the test in. Because if I start to like look at the ones that I know 100%, I'm gonna like, be like well i learned this and that and like remember this and my mind just likes to play tricks on me it's called a nice little girl named anxiety so and i have really bad testing anxiety so that's like my strategy for test taking and it's worked for me every time so far um but yeah i think ultrasound registry review was a great help i also did use the app prepry or prepry whatever it's called prepry um but I know now you have to pay for certain things so i just did the daily question and then i would do like the 10 question quiz but i think that if you don't pay you only have access to a certain amount it is a great tool to have with you on the go because it's literally an app on your phone you open it boom do a question of the day you know what i mean you can literally do it like when you're about to go somewhere on your break somewhere like it's pretty easy and they do have it for i think majority of like the uh, ARDMS exams so I do like it but when I first got the app you did have access to like everything so I had access to like 500 questions you know but another thing that I did use is the Edelman review book so someone let me borrow theirs and that helped me so much because it's not too much content for me to ingest um I definitely did ingest more content this time around than I did like with abdomen but I well, it felt like I did. I mean, I used a book for abdomen versus like the ultrasound register review, but it felt like I did. Um, but it just, the Edelman reviews in general, even when you attend them, they're super helpful because they'll get into detail, but it doesn't make it overwhelming. It's a nice, short, sweet to the point um, review that I really, really like. Um, and I will forever use Edelman reviews for like my tests because they help me out a lot. They'll give you key words, you know, the most commons, they'll put it together and charge for you. And like I said, it's not an overwhelming amount. It's not like you're reading 500 pages of a book. You know, you may have like 230, 
whatever but you can break it up and it's really easy to break up too i really liked it for vascular um i like that they gave you a lot of examples too of how to like calculate abi and a lot of like abi questions on okay well, which level of disease is there and why so i really love edelman reviews they can be pricey i mean they are pricey but i think it is worth it i really do think it is worth it um also there is a yellow vascular book that i heard was helpful i started to read it but i felt like i was using too much content but if you're more of like a review book kind of gal and you just need like a review i think that'll be good i felt like i needed like the whole nine like i needed to be taught again like not that i had a great vascular professor but for me i just needed to give vascular like that love i needed to give her that love in order for me to pass it and to fully understand it and it worked for me um i still felt like i used a little bit too much too many like study materials but it worked for me i i needed to see um i needed to see different things and kind of it helps me create in my head like the connections and word things to where i understand it better i also used ultrasound board review here on youtube um he always makes great review questions um for us sonographers and it helps a lot uh i had a co-worker who did take the exam and they used they there were some questions that he reviewed that were actually on their exam it wasn't on mine but there are like four different versions of it so you never know what you're gonna get um but his questions are also really good too if you don't want to bite the bullet and um you know buy the ultrasound register review you could always you know do those reviews that you can listen to or you could watch someone go through the questions it really all depends on how you learn but we do have a lot of resources which is great um i didn't take like an ardms practice test because i knew people who took it so i was like eh I think I'll be okay and I thought ultrasound registry review and like the ultrasound board review on YouTube was enough. I think I also used sonographic tendencies as well. His questions were a little more difficult in my opinion but it helps especially when someone's like talking and explaining. I think it helped a lot um but yeah ultrasound register review holy grail um it's literally like you're taking the course and i know not every school is vascular accredited so i think that if you are someone who didn't get to take vascular in school it, that would be great too or if, you, if you're someone who needs a nice review that's what i needed and it worked out for me edelman reviews are great love edelman reviews like will forever purchase them um you can look here on youtube like i said ultrasound board review um and yeah that's really what i used um and i really think it all depends on how you learn but that is what i used um let me i'm gonna try to think of like more things that i saw that i think i saw on the tab i definitely got thrown off by transcranial doppler okay can't lie i thought that because in review books i mean they all have the velocities of the vessels but i feel like they mainly focus on like the depths and i thought that that's what they were gonna ask me oh you know what is the depth at which you would like doppler the mca or the aca or is this one which one is like you know towards the transducer away bi-directional i did get a question that asked me what is um bi-directional on a tcd which terminal ica um but they asked me about velocities and honestly i was i had no clue so i would definitely like look at everything i should have looked at that more but i was more focused on the depths so i'm like okay mca aca angle this way angle that way and i'm happy that i remember the terminal ica too um but i do wish i would have memorized the depths because that came up a couple times which i was like well what do you mean but that's okay because it helped me i was like okay now i need to look over this which is great i think i got a question on like holland horse plaque um which has to do yeah i got a question on like holland horse plaque I got a question on like um 
like it gave me a spectral waveform and let's say it was more pulsatile so then it asked me what like where where is the disease is it proximal to that vessel is it distal is it at you know stuff like that and then like what it could be or what could cause like a pulsatile waveform or a um continuous waveform on like a um venus doppler um i think it asked me about tos too a lot of pathology for sure um a lot of pathology but like i said i had basic like anatomy questions too um but a lot of like pictures of pathology i'm trying to think like of what other p images like they gave me image of like an angiogram and I think it said it was either of the carotid or the renal artery and it was like the string of pearl sign so then it asked me what it was which was fibromuscular dysplasia um things like that like I said a lot of pathology not a lot of other imaging modalities I just had that angio which I thought was pretty like okay because we do learn like that string of pearl sign and everything so yeah i feel like this video was a little chaotic than what like my other videos have been about like registries and stuff but um that's how my brain felt <laughs> um but i cannot stress it enough what works for you is gonna work for you i definitely think you know taking your time to really understand like the pathology aspect because i'm pretty sure a lot of us have the basic and general idea of like okay this is what normal is so really understanding like that pathology i think it's gonna help um, and it'll also help emphasize like what would normal anatomy be. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have more questions, let me know. I'm not going to take a long time to respond. I promise. Um, but I wish you all the best of luck if you guys are taking your registries. Um, I will link down below. I think I made some Quizlets. I always link my Quizlets in these videos anyways because I have like some physics on there, some like abdomen so i think i made a quizlet for vascular like a little bit so um and i'll link down below like the ultrasound registry review the content outline very important and yeah good luck to you guys on your registries it doesn't matter if this is your first second or third time taking it you've got it um this stuff isn't easy and i think a lot of people have this misconception of ultrasound that it is like oh my god babies and it's so easy and it's not just that yeah babies are cute and fun but we don't just scan that and it is a whole lot more and i think even if you're like a new grad or you're a student you'll realize that too like when you start to work it's just much more than that and um yeah don't beat yourself up if you feel like you feel like you're not understanding something completely it can be tough to grasp just take your time and perfect it and learn it and then move on to the next you know like you're gonna get it eventually i think ultrasound is something that you have to continue to repeat it's like repetition and you know after you keep repeating it and keep doing it and doing it you'll get better at it you'll learn it better you'll grasp the concept better you'll understand this better i'm obviously not perfect i'm only six months into my career i have so much more to learn and i feel like some of the things that i've been exposed to as a tech now like some techs haven't even seen in years which is you know cool to see um but you're gonna constantly learn in this field do not feel down on yourself these registries are not easy at all um and being an ultrasound tech is not easy but don't be discouraged because i think as long as you have a passion for it you have a passion to learn you have a passion to grow i think that and if this field is meant for you i think that you will continue to grow and blossom and learn and grasp and continue to ask questions it doesn't matter how how seasoned of a tech you are you can always ask questions your coworkers are there you know there's so many of us you have facebook groups that you can ask you don't have you can be anonymous you have people like me on youtube you can ask questions and like i said i don't know everything i'm very new there's gonna be things i'm gonna be like what do you mean i'm very new so have confidence breathe do your deep breathing, do whatever calms you down. You guys got this. Um, it doesn't matter how many times, how many years, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you have to do an exam for it to make sense to you. Like everybody's learning process is different and we're all going to be great successful sonographers. So 
you're gonna manifest that thank you guys so much for watching i wish you guys the best of luck on your testing journeys i hope this video was a great help don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and i'll be back um for a new video soon i'll talk about my experience as a new sonographer because it's been six months which is crazy so bye Shouldn't be no holder, roller If I lost the motion, show up If you're down to roll up Leave me on the west side, follow me